Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics, and got a digital painting video for you today. And today's uh, digital painting is just a candle, a spooky little candle. So I'm sketching it out here, kind of getting my form together, and then I'll start painting in some value. Uh, again, I'm only using a couple brushes, but one of them's a chalk brush, and pretty soon I'll be putting that on my DeviantArt. There's a chalk brush right there, and um, you know I'm just kind of going to paint in some value, some tone. You know, I look at it like I'm shading a pencil drawing at this point. Uh, maybe like I'm working with charcoal or something like that. So I just kind of keep painting in tone, overlay, overlay. You know, I got it set down to about 30% opacity. And I just keep, uh, you know, adding um, texture and tone to it. And texture, a lot of times I get just by overlapping the strokes, which I talk about, you know, in my other videos about how to, how to texture things. Uh, which I'm no pro there, and you see there I'm adding. A little, I'm already going to white, and I'll quickly take the initial sketch line and merge it down, which I think I just did. So, uh, and then I just keep painting over top. I ultimately, when I'm doing digital paintings, I try to end up with no lines, but this is more of a, a fantasy digital painting. Uh, this isn't going to look like a traditional real candle. I'm not looking at uh, a candle for reference and trying to, you know, get an exact depiction of a candle. I'm just basically having fun with it and making something more fantasy related but you know practicing digital painting so uh, using the chalk brush for 90 percent of this work and I'll, I'll bring in a little bit of a, a stipple brush here in a bit but um, right now it's all just a chalk brush and I, I use the X key to go back and forth in Photoshop to you know um, go from light to dark um, that's the way I like to paint and then I overlay a color uh, layer color mode you'll see I start doing that there and I'm actually painting that with a soft airbrush and just blending in that color picking some different tones and trying to uh, you know getting getting something or get something that is resemblant of a candle and a you know gold uh, candle holder or whatever so still just painting in here sometimes if I can't get the right tone um, I'll actually go to a normal opacity or a normal mode uh, over top so I kind of bounce back and forth from a couple layers I'll use a, a color mode layer one or two sometimes even an overlay layer uh, and then a normal mode layer so you know I don't know if that's standard or that's what you should do it's just a technique that I find works well so here I'm painting the whole thing down really far uh, I just felt that it was way too light and I needed to build that value and to do that to tone it all the way down and then come back with some highlights and start working my uh, my form uh, back up so uh, so here I'm just kind of kind of trying to paint in some texture and get a better feel um, you know for some kind of spooky eerie looking candle and painting down the background to give it more um, contrast so and then I start working in some tinier little details just to you know just to give it a little bit more to look at um, you know again painting in some highlights trying to get that candle holder to look a little bit more chromey or, or gold reflective in a, in a bit um, and then the the flame I try to make look a little bit more again fantasy related not just a it was actually a tr traditional flame on a candle is just very uh, teardrop and there's no nothing really coming off it it's just a slow transition of uh, tone so this is definitely not a not a real candle and yeah, just keep painting that in and trying to find the form uh, and one thing I wanted to touch on when I when I talked about this is you know I don't have a, a clear cut um, a clear goal or a clear end in sight when I draw this stuff so a lot of times when you see me painting back and forth I'm actually trying to find my way um, it's a it's a bit of confusion uh, that I deal with and then I slowly find things that work like that little sparkle I was like no I'll definitely use a lens flare there that was pretty ugly uh, and here I start painting in some little uh, imperfections in the the uh, candle holder which I'm I'm getting more and more um, familiar with and happy with doing like uh, it's all about putting in those tiny little imperfections and details I think that really you know make this stuff look cool um, so I'm enjoying that a lot more as I progress through digital painting but but yeah so what I was saying is I, I basically fumble through a lot of it 
and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't know if that's, you know, going to be congruent with the way that everybody works, but uh, it's definitely something that I do, but I, I feel it's an organic process, and it's, it's the way that I work, and I, it feels right. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, sometimes it's frustrating when I'm trying to figure something out and it doesn't work out as well as I hoped, but, uh, or in the time constraint that I hoped, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's kind of cool when it, when the door does open up and you're like, oh, wait, this looks really cool. I'm going to go in this direction. So, uh, I just figured I'd throw that in there for anybody that might think, you know, wow, you know, Robbie was draw this stuff right out and it looks amazing if that's what you're thinking, whatever. But, you know, that's, that's not always the case. I mean, there's a lot of times when it just, uh, you know, I'm fumbling through it and then I finally, because of perseverance, I work through it and get something that looks moderately good in my opinion. Um, you know, but by any means at this point, I still think that my stuff looks relatively novice and I'm, but that's why I work on it every day is to keep growing it and getting it to the point when I'm, when I'm satisfied, which will probably be never, but yep, still working on some highlights and, and still trying to, uh, bring this thing out and you see I'm toggling on the, the, uh, normal mode layer that I have over top because it's blocking me from seeing my, my grayscale mode. But once those colors are painted over top, the beauty of it is you just keep working in that grayscale layer beneath, and uh, it's kind of fun to work that way. Um, I think it's better for people like me that don't feel as strong uh, in the the area of co being a colorist or uh, you know a painter per se. I still feel I'm more of a sketch artist, so um, to work in that grayscale mode works really well for me. So yeah, just. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking here. I think I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to feel out the color of that flame, yeah, and then I end up going with the, yeah, the white in the middle, the yellow to the orange or whatever, um, and then just over detailing it, you know, like no flame would look. And there's a little dodge effect in both layers to, you know, brighten it up, and then I end up uh, trying to color that more traditionally, like a candle would light up in the middle. But I don't think I nailed that really well. Um, it's still a little little dark in that area uh, and then I end up going you know kind of cheaping out and putting a lens flare in there because it just was too easy to deny so well, at any rate I'm coming kind of to the close of this so if you got any questions drop them in the section below and then also be sure to like and subscribe and please share the videos if you like them and you find them helpful and uh, yeah let me know what you'd like to see in the future and uh, be sure to ch check out robertmarzullo.com and like us on Facebook under Ram Studio Comics. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, keep drawing, keep having fun. See ya.